My name is David Downey. My rank is radium in second class. Okay, we were home ported in Newport, Rhode Island. Uh, we were in what was called a group destroyer development group two. We had just uh, become part of that. And uh, destroyer development group two was uh, a group of destroyers, there was four of us, the Hazelwood, the Bronson, uh, the Glennon, and one other, the name escapes me. Uh, and our group, we would, if you had an idea for the Navy to improve the performance of a ship or a, a paint that would uh, be better than the paint they were using or something of that nature, we would take it uh, to sea, test it, and give a report on the uh, value of it to, of, as of service to uh, other ships. Uh, <clears throat> one of the examples uh, yeah, of what we tested, uh, uh, which we all took a lot of uh, ribbing for, we were known as the Flying Destroyer. We had a PB wing, a PBM wing, mounted on our port side, and uh, this used to gave us the nickname of the Flying Destroyer. And uh, <coughs> what used to happen here was we were would be going out, working with the fleet in testing at that time what was called vari variable depth sonar. Prior to uh, our experimentations, uh, sonar would only go down to what was called the thermonuclear layer, which was about halfway in the mid-depth of the ocean. So submarines used to go down to the bottom and hide, and the sonar could not penetrate the VDS layer, and uh, the thermonuclear layer, I believe it was called, and uh, used to refract back up again. So we were involved with bringing the cable and the sonar below the layer and then searching out the submarine. And this was a lot of what our experiments were uh, and work was on, working on that. A sonar operator used to go out on the end of the wing of the seaplane and lower manually the cable with the, the uh, sonar array at the end and lower it below the layer. And then the technicians and engineers would read and we would play games with subs and they would try to hide and we would try to find them. So that was part of the game too. One of them I remember was the half beak. Uh, the, the half beak was uh, one of the subs that we, we worked with and after we would discover it and we would uh, make contact with it, uh, letting it know that we've uh, discovered it, uh, it would come to the surface. And uh, you would see a, uh, off of maybe three, four, five hundred feet away as we're going along, you would see a periscope come through the water and there would be a splash in the water maybe. Uh, splash in the water, and uh, then slightly, slowly, the conning tower would start to emerge, and uh, we would slow down, and they would come alongside, and uh, we'd communicate. 